Step seven is find unique ways to teach. Now, this was designed in my first iteration of this for teachers. So let's kind of retrofit this for admins. And I think it'll lend itself pretty nicely. So the idea, the general concept behind this step is, you know, change things up. Um, you know, if you do nothing but presentations, change things up to a more collaborative environment. And I think most of the tools that I'm going to share here are really about live time collaboration with students. So just changing things up a little bit, the dynamic in your classroom. And for the administrator, your key role in most cases is communication, communication, communication. So these resources are all about communication. Now, this first resource that I put on here, I almost took it off for the admin course, but I thought, you know what, this might be a really great tool for the administrator to use. It's called Classroom Screen, and it's just classroomscreen.com, I believe, and this is what it looks like. Uh, they've got a new opening screen, but if you go to uh, this and then you click the green button here, it's gonna bring up just a board for you. And you may think, okay, big deal. Well, what this will do is if you have your computer hooked up to a present presentation source, this would be great for say faculty meetings. And if you wanted to, again, there's all kinds of tools in this bottom uh, toolkit here. All of these icons will do something within the screen. So for example, say you wanna have a timer, say you wanna give uh, the teachers a task to do, and you wanna set a timer, there you go. You just hit the green button and that will uh, set the time. And again, you can um, add or subtract time under each of these options. So a really nice little timer and just click off of it. So every time you click an icon, it'll, it'll highlight down here. Stopwatch, clock, you know, you get the general idea. Uh, calendar will be here if you needed to bring up a calendar to talk about a shared date uh, with teachers, any of those things. You can even do a sound level. Now, obviously, this is probably more appropriate for teachers, but, you know, say you've, you've put your staff to work and you want to uh, represent a sound meter if things are getting too uh, noisy in the room that you're in, you can do that. A lot of fun. So random name generator, if you put the name, say uh, you have a fun say giveaway at the end of your staff meeting uh, and you just uh, type in the list of everyone who was at the meeting and just click the chooser down here it'll generate a random name so a lot of fun there you can also if you click the qr code if there's a website that you wanted to share i'm just going to put https uh, and this what www.usatoday um say there was a website you wanted to share. This will actually bring a QR code so teachers could uh, put their uh, phones up there and get the website you wanted to share. So again, another just really great, uh, oh, oops, I keep hitting it here. Let's close these out here. It's interesting, it gives you a couple of sound generators. Forgive me for digressing here. Um, so again, if you wanted to bring up a website to share with people using a QR code, you do that, you can roll the dice. And if you wanted to play uh, some sort of game during your faculty meeting, you can do a drawing. If you wanted to uh, perhaps uh, showcase some sort of diagram to the teachers, you can bring that up. Again, a really great uh, tool. If you want to bring text, you can certainly do that. You can do uh, today's agenda and you can actually put uh, you know an agenda item here to greet teachers as they come in the door uh, work symbols so if you wanted to uh, uh, create some different work symbols uh, whisper again ideal for um, students but you, again you could also use this for faculty meetings or again parent meetings board meetings etc there's even a traffic stoplight if you wanted to indicate that for types of work environment. So a great little uh, easy place to have uh, information for participants if you're running a meeting. So I did wanna share that one. I think it's really pretty cool. So some other ones here, Screencastify is what I'm using right now. That's to create screen shots. Uh, Screencastify, if you're using Google Chrome, will create this little link right there and allow you to create little mini videos like the one I'm doing. So you can basically showcase anything that's on your computer screen. Again, if you wanted to showcase teachers, hey, here is where the information is on our Google Drive, you could just quickly make a screen share, 
it'll save out just like you've seen. You can save it as YouTube. You can save it right from your Google Drive, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Nearpod is what we've been using for this course. I think you've probably had a pretty good understanding of how Nearpod works. There's a freemium version that you can do a lot of the, the tools and tricks that I use for this course. Um, Sketch noting is great for education, but again, it can also be great for staff meetings and great for you as a learner. Sketch noting, if you're not familiar, it's basically putting text with images. But it's not just bringing text, it's actually you creating both the text and the images. So again, it's been around for a long time. It's even you know been highlighted back in the 70s with the dual code theory. Uh, Marzano's work, it's also been part of. But uh, this is a great set of resources from Kathy Schrock, who's uh, the internet guru. Uh, and she has some really great resources. She has some ideas. She has presentations on sketchnoting. There's research links on sketchnoting. But sketchnoting can be powerful, not just for learners, uh, but it can be for teachers. It can be for you. It can be a great way for you to present information to your teachers. So sketchnoting is, um, I'm a big fan of it awesome it's great and again if you want to showcase how to do it for your teachers and they can uh, they'll be much more engaged in your faculty meeting and presentations uh, if they're sketch noting so please um, check those resources out love sketch noting this is an example of some digital whiteboard tool so this is a google doc with a variety of whiteboard tools this is a site called powtoon will we'll let you create um, you know different presentations and again, this has been various uh, versions of this. Let me just click here, but you can create a presentation or you can create a little cartoon movie. A little bit of a learning curve, but don't let that uh, distract you. You can create a really nice presentation, tinker with it, have a little fun with it. Powtoon can make, again, just changing up the usual dynamic. If you wanted to, instead of having a faculty meeting, create a Powtoon with buzzers and whistles and all kinds of fun stuff and um, you know just to engage your teachers a little bit better and again the freemium version you can do a lot there's of course a premium version uh, that you could use as well Microsoft whiteboard if you are an office 365 district this is an awesome one uh, Google also has a similar one called Jamboard but basically you can create um, a white a whiteboard again if you're in office 365 and you have office 365 accounts it's going to be a whiteboard and then you can make uh, different drawings uh, if you have the app version if you're on windows 10 you can it, it's probably much more powerful usage but you can do drawings and then you can just share it with somebody else invite them by email or invite them by the link and everyone can share your whiteboard so everyone who has the invite um, should have the drawing tools to create. So again, it does require, I believe, an Office 365 account. Google has a similar one called Jamboard that you can do if you're a Google district. So those are most of them. I'm gonna kind of leave the rest to kind of you to explore. Uh, Twiddler is just another one. It's a, it's a place where you can create, if you just go to this green, start a new whiteboard. It's a great collaborative meeting environment. And again, say you want to uh, talk to your uh, person in uh, grounds and buildings and maybe you wanted to uh, collaborate with them on something you can do that you just give them the link and they will sign it you can also create a shared uh, document if you want to do that you can sh uh, share like an etherpad where everyone can contribute to the document all you do is just uh, give that person this link wherever you're doing again if I was thinking buildings and grounds you just share this link with them and they can um, sign in and they can also do some live time um, drawing so somebody else on the other end can do that so and they can also join using audio so really cool uh, tools to collaborate and work with so I hope these will be fun for you to look at and uh, you'll be able to kind of have some uh, new ways to design your faculty meetings meetings communicating with parents and uh, your fellow colleagues